Hello friends, how are you all? In this video, I'll discuss all the facts you should know about NTA net examination. So this exam is conducted twice a year in June and in December by National Testing Agency in various subjects at selected examination centers spread across the country for the post of Assistant Professor by NET and also Research Scholar by Qualifying JRF that is Junior Research Fellowship. So candidates who aspire to become a research scholar or professor or lecturer of a recognized university and colleges can apply for this examination. So let's look at some of the factors which you should know about NET exam. To become professor or lecturer in recognized university and colleges, you should qualify NET exam. Okay, and the eligibility to appear for the exam is C. Uh, for the post of assistant professor, that is for NET, see there is no upper age limit. Yes, this is according to the latest data. There is no upper age limit. You can you can attempt NET exam uh, for any age. At any age, you can uh, become assistant professor. And for JRF, there is age limit. Okay, so 30 years for all. Usually 30 years is there. This is for everyone. And also for some category, it is less. For example, 35 years is the upper age limit for SC, ST, OBC, that is other backward classes, women, PWD, that is persons with disabilities, transgender, research experienced candidates. So he should have five years research experience and armed force candidates. Okay, so they can appear for this examination till they, uh, their age is. 35 years okay and if, if you are a LLM degree candidates then you can apply for uh, writing the NET examination till 33 years of your age so for rest of others it is 30 years for JRF but for NET that is assistant professor no upper age limit hope you understood and then let's know about uh, you know percentage criteria that you should uh, possess in your PG level PG degree okay C See, this includes candidates waiting for their uh, PG final year result or going to appear in the exam. So, that means this percentage can be for first year. If you are the second year PG examination, master's examination is still to be appeared. So, this is uh, only first years taken. Or if you have completed PG degree, the average uh, years percentage is taken. Okay. So, for general category, 55 percentage you should get in your master's degree or other equivalent degree. But for SC, ST, OBC, PWD and also for transgender, you should uh, get 50 percentage. Okay, then you can appear for any 50 or more. You can appear for any examination. So below 50, it is not allowed for this category and below 55, it is not allowed to write the examination for general for general category and for PhD degree holder in your PhD degree, you should have C50 percentage. Okay, or if you are uh, possessing the PhD degree, okay, then in your master's degree, you should have 50 percentage as aggregate and when uh, see uh, if you are doing PhD your master's level exam has been should be completed by 19th September 1991 so for them the rule is applicable okay irrespective of the date of result declared but you should have uh, completed your examination so before this date so this is according to the latest data and then applying details so how you can apply Candidates can apply to the official website of NTA. Okay, this is online application. You should go for NTA, uh, you know, website and there you should fill the online application form. You have three steps to fill the online application form. Okay, I have separate video for this. I have made separate video. Please do check that video in that I have given step one, step by step, uh, you know, details of how to apply. Okay, how to fill the application form correctly and you should check the dates so, so from uh, which date i should start applying and uh, what is the last date of application you should be checking in the website time to time okay and also uh, let's know about the fee structure for uh, category general you should pay thousand rupees indian rupees and um, for obc and uh, ews 500 rupees 
and for SC, ST, PWD and for transgender 250 rupees you have to pay as the application fees and on only here your expenses are included uh, okay and nowhere you are asked any expenses neither in examination hall or uh, for downloading your admit card or whatever it is only for applying at the applying time you should pay the fees and here is a note that GST and processing charges are to be paid by the candidates itself as applicable so it will be changing and you should uh, see uh, how much the GST includes and this won't be that much you know uh, you can pay okay the amount the application fees is reasonable so, but the effort in studies is very worthful okay and then you have some rules to be followed a candidate can fill the application form in one subject only okay one can choose out of the subjects given in the information bulletin next year 3 of nta website so you should choose your subject see paper one is common for everyone you will have paper one and for paper two you should select only one subject however if you select more than one subject the application form uh, form will be cancelled automatically okay so that's why you should select only one subject and then mandatory of other card so other card is very much essential in your examination hall but for registration you can uh, give any other government id number such as passport number bank account number can be provided but in the examination hall other card is mandatory for the registration also if you provide other card then that will be with uh, no issues in in future and uh, the exam is online and no descriptive okay everything there is nothing descriptive uh, answers should be chosen okay it is a uh, option based one you should choose from the option and how to write the online examination i have already posted a demo video please do check that video before you appear for the examination so that you will be relaxed if you didn't appear for any online examination till now that will be really helpful for you then no negative marks this is a good news for NET aspirants you have no negative marks for your wrong answer so uh, it is okay that it is okay to attempt all the questions even though if you don't know the answer uh, with the guess you can attempt all the questions and you know paper 1 has 50 marks 100 50 questions 100 marks paper 2 have 100 questions with 200 marks so basically you have 300 questions for 3 hours three hours will be given and uh, the timings of this three hours will be mentioned in your hall ticket itself okay date and timing time and also place everything will be mentioned in your hall ticket you should be checking time to time to download the hall ticket and admit card and paper one it is for all students the same syllabus will be there but paper two this is you have to select one subject and how to select the subject see if you have done bcom and mcom definitely you, you should select commerce if you have done bbm and mba you should select management so here is a confusion if you have done bcom and mba okay which subject you have to choose see uh, here the students will get the confusion whether to choose the commerce or management see what your degree subject you should focus on that degree subject is better okay that means in this case you have to choose commerce because you have done the bachelor's degree in commerce not management so likewise if you have done bsc and uh, done mba so for becoming a lecturer you should uh, choose uh, science any subject like biology whatever the subjects uh, you have uh, done in your bsc you should choose that subject okay and then see you should check out both papers updated syllabus time to time in the nta website okay be careful about that and language of examination in which language you can give the exam see uh, it will be on the screen itself you can choose uh, from these two subjects you can choose either english or hindi so you will have the option on your on the computer screen you can change your language also i have given how to change the language uh, demo in my uh, other video and see the place of examination will be like you know candidates can select four cities candidates are given choice to se select four cities nearer to them so while preparing the application form so do check the video how to fill the application form so e while uh, filling the application form they will ask the four cities your preferred city where you have to uh, write the examination so in that four city only you will get 99 percent from that only you will get but this is not 
hundred percent guaranteed. Okay, ninety nine percent you will get from these four cities, and make sure uh, the first place uh, you will get. You know the first preference will be always given to you uh, as the you know uh, the city which you have mentioned as in the first uh, space that city will be given to you. And how to fill the application form? See, I have a separate video for that. You have three steps. Refer that video and what to bring to the examination hall? This is a common question. See, you should bring admit card. and passport pasted on that see usually with your photo only you will get online admit card but if you don't have your photo you have to paste it so do check with your photo you will get if you don't get those uh, if you don't get that you have to attach the photo and then hall ticket you have to bring and then two extra passport sized photo you should bring for the exam hall they may ask you and you know aadhar card compulsory you have to bring e aadhar card is also accepted but you know it is um, uh, always preferable to bring uh, the physical aadhar card itself because the network nowadays is really very slow in india so do prefer to bring the aadhar card and no stationery no mobile is allowed inside the examination hall management or nta is not responsible for any of your valuables if you lost your mobile no one will be responsible for that so don't uh, bring mobile phones and no copy slips please see uh, be honest definitely uh, if you trust yourself you can crack any any of the examination not only net so you are the rock star for yourself no need to bring copy slips because if you found they'll check before entering the examination hall and also if you found that you have discussed something with your friends or else uh, you have uh, maintain any copy slips you will be definitely debarred from the exam and you won't be able to write the exam for 3 years okay so don't do uh, such activities and uh, you know the other questions are can candidates leave early okay if he or she finishes the test before allocated time the straight away answer is no you are not allowed to leave the examination hall even though if you finished your exam okay everyone is allowed to vacate the hall at the same time and loss of admit card or not brought to uh, not brought admit card or whatever the thing it uh, thing in uh, to the examination hall means you can download that you can download from the website admit card is usually not uh, posted to you you have to download from the website only both admit card and hall ticket but before entering the examination hall you should download okay and how to get the results see the results will be uploaded again on the website only so these are the website links okay www.nta.ac.in or www.ntanet.nic.in okay so uh, you can get the results from that and then how long the result is awarded i mean if you have completed net or grf how long how long you are given the time to apply for the post see you have completed grf today and after 5 years if you go to college for application so this certificate is not valued for you so your uh, masters degree only counts your net or grf certificate is will become invalid you, you must write the examination again so please so within the prescribed time get the post okay for grf or for net 3 years within 3 years you have to get the post in any of the college and helplines for any other helplines you can uh, check the website or you can mail for uh, ugc net or if you have any queries doubts you can also mail for this particular email address okay so this is email and gmail you can mail or you can uh, simply look at the website okay i hope the common questions or common queries are clear to you if you have any doubt please feel to feel free to comment me i'll be always ready to answer your questions thank you so much and all the very best for your examination share your good results with me thank you